Howdy folks, Tex Scrabner here with Tex Scrabner Outdoors. New videos every Saturday, so if you don't want to miss out on your Tex Scrabner Outdoors Saturday morning cartoon awesomeness, make sure to click subscribe, check that notification box, and check my channel every Saturday for new videos. I love reading your comments, and I really do appreciate all of you that watch. I want to start this video by introducing you to a fellow that I watch on YouTube here, and that is Swamp Dweller. Shout out to Swamp Dweller. I'm going to put a link down in the description. He does strange, weird, freaky stories from the outdoors. That's basically the basis of his channel. Now, I tend to keep a very open mind when I'm in the outdoors, simply because you can't prove a negative. You can't prove that something doesn't exist. So I tend to be very polite and respectful of nature when I absolutely can. So this video is also geared toward explaining trail cameras a little bit and in the spirit of making it weird I'm actually filming this on my paranormal playground with my IR auxiliary light. Now the paranormal playground is basically a GoPro that has been modified to shoot in full spectrum which means that it will not work in absolute darkness without a light source, but it will pick up a full spectrum of visible and non-visible light, which helps me film my night fishing videos. But for 120 bucks for the package, it could help some of you who are more geared into the cryptozoology, urban exploration, and so on. However, trail cameras, first of all, you can't just set a trail camera anywhere and expect to capture a picture of your target species, be it unknown or a known animal. You've got to have an actual knowledge of woodcraft and woodsmanship, so to speak, in order to get your target where you want it to be. For instance, it's taken me a couple of years to figure out where I actually need to put my trail cameras at in order to capture the white tail on the property that I hunt on high definition pictures. You can't just throw them out there and expect to get anything. And you've got to actually set them at a height that you will be able to capture your target species without having to worry about triggering it with possums, raccoons, and so on. Now, if a squirrel climbs up the tree and starts playing with it, that's a different story. Also, you Bigfoot researchers out there that are aspiring are probably going to want to invest in what's known as a bear box that will protect your trail camera. Now, again, this video, you can take it seriously, or you can think that I'm making a parody but the fact is, I'm into helping people. And I am a big fan of Moultrie trail cameras. They're infrared, no glow, and they're just fantastic. They work very well for what I use them for. So if you're getting into wanting to do some cryptid research, I suggest that you invest in some Moultrie trail cameras. The A5 takes good pictures and it's relatively affordable. But the fact is you've got to actually have an understanding of where the animal is going to be. Now granted I joke all the time on Instagram when I post pictures of my deer that I've got on the property that I hunt that still no Sasquatch. Which is funny because you guys know that I'm a pretty terrible deer hunter. So, hunting whitetail with a bow and arrow for me is practically a cryptozoological expedition. Because very rarely do I actually encounter them in the wild. Now up to this point, this is the strangest critter that I've caught on my trail camera. But, right now I'm filming this on my paranormal playground with an infrared external light source in basically total darkness here in my front yard. 
and it works pretty good. It works excellent for when I use it for night fishing if I actually remember to charge everything up. But the fact is, nobody is going to buy it until we get a body. A real body. But because you can't prove a negative, I tend to keep a very open mind when I'm out there in the wild because you truly never know. So I hope this video is helpful to you. As always, God bless all my sports of America. Join the NRA to protect our rights. Please come, my friends, over at SOETactical.com. Thank you very much to those of you involved in law enforcement, those of you serving in the military. Thanks for watching. Thanks for grabbing your outdoors.